In this video, we're going to uh, jack up a car with a floor jack and support it on jack stands and maybe even rotate the tires. We'll see. The equipment that you're going to need is a floor jack, obviously a car, and we're also going to need some jack stands. And so the first thing you need to do is go to your service information, find out where your lifting points are, and find out where it's safe to lift underneath the car. Now this is going to be a little bit different than the hoist, uh, where you put the hoist pads. So you'll need to find out where it's safe. Sometimes it's uh, on the radiator core support. Sometimes it's a cross member underneath and those kind of things. So you need to find out where you can lift the vehicle. And then we're going to go ahead and lift up the vehicle. So this vehicle that we're using, we're going to be using um, the Juke. And I've looked up on service information. There's a couple places that we can place the jack that will be adequate so you won't damage the car and it'll lift up just fine. One of the places is right here on the radiator core support. This is a nice metal frame that goes around and uh, hooks up with the rest of the car. Another place you can uh, lift is back here at the back of the core support, radi of the uh, uh, subframe. Uh, that's another place, but we're gonna lift right here on the front part um, and so what we need to do is we need to roll the jack up underneath here and get it centered so the jack is centered with the the pad of the jack right underneath the core support and then we're going to tighten the jack handle if you turn the jack handle clockwise it'll tighten up and that will uh, engage the hydraulics and then we can just lift up we just pump the handle and we're going to lift up the car so we want to make sure we had, had get it positioned to where that pad contacts just right on the radiator core support right here and so we're going to go ahead and lift it all the way up now A couple of things to look for when you're lifting a car with a floor jack. Um, the wheels uh, on the floor jack need to be able to be so they can roll because a lot of times the vehicle um, won't move and so the floor jack has to roll with the car as you're lifting it up. And so it's important to, you know, if you've got cracks in the cement or if you're lifting out on asphalt or something, make sure that the floor jack can move around while it's being lifted or while the car's being lifted. And I always say you pay for the whole jack, so you might as well use the whole jack. So jack it up high. That way you can get to everything that you need to underneath the vehicle. Once you have the vehicle jacked up, so you can see the wheels are off the ground now. Quite a ways off the ground. So now what we need to do is we need to support it with jack stands. You never want to crawl underneath the vehicle when it's supported only by a hydraulic jack. Hydraulics are not the safest in the world and they can collapse on you. So we're going to support it with a, a jack stand. So, and the jack stand you also need to put on a lifting point underneath the vehicle. And a good rule of thumb for a lifting point is on the lower control arm. That's always a good place um, to lift on a vehicle. You can also lift on the core support. If you notice this tall jack stand doesn't quite fit on the, the lower control arm. So what I think I might do is I might support it up here on the radiator core support. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Okay, I've got the jack stands in place and the floor jack 
is uh, is ready to come down. So what I want to do is I want to twist the, the handle of the floor jack counterclockwise very slowly and let the, the jack down slowly onto the jack stands. So there we go. The car is now supported on the jack stands and you want to do the same thing you did when you were on the on the hoist and that's jounce the car a little bit and make sure that the car is not going to fall off fall off the jack stands so i'm going to do the same thing on the back end i'm going to lift it up and support it so that way we can rotate the tires um, on the back end the service information says it's okay that you can lift it on the differential so you see i've got the differential right here i've got the jack right underneath the pad is right underneath the the differential so i should be able to lift it up this time i'm going to let you watch the outside so you can see how the jack is operated i've got the floor jack positioned where it needs to be and what i'm going to do is i'm going to tighten the, the floor jack by twisting the handle to the right or clockwise and then i'm just going to operate the handle and lift up the vehicle So I've got the, the vehicle all the way up where it needs to be. So now we're going to place the jack stands underneath the vehicle just like we did in the front. And on this one, we're just going to place them right underneath the rear control arms. And then once we put them underneath the rear control arms, we're going to turn the jack handle counterclockwise slowly and lower the vehicle down onto the jack stands. I like to lower it down until the weight is off from the jack stand and then I just tighten the handle back up and then I'll just leave the, the floor jack right where. So now the vehicle is completely supported and it's ready to uh, rotate the tires or do whatever other service you need to do on it. Completely safe to get underneath it and all that kind of stuff now.